So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but. We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on.
So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck, east of the Grizzlies and out of money, and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. country called the Hartlings. They've been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. 
And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Well, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy now. That's it, Arthur. Whoa, now, easy, easy. Whoa. <laughs> Take Let's it easy. It, man. Okay, boy. Go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. 
<laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Can we go now? Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse full of lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. You got a problem? The heck is your damn problem? Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place, huh? Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. 
Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... No trouble now, please. Paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Think you two could scam me? Talking now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just. Man, but stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock uh, town. Okay There's lots there. of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but... When I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. <sighs> All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah! Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Enough. 
Come on now. Yeah. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Hmm. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. Have a nice day now, sir. your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Oh, there. Oh, hello again. Well, Never too soon, huh? Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs. Hello. Hey, look out. Gentlemen. Hello, mister. Hello there, mister. Welcome back, mister. Come here, come here. Come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. 
Well, ain't you just the toughest Teak Mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, 
Ah. Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Come on, boy. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh. Me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there, we'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Let's lighten the load here, boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Don't be scared of him. It's all right, boy. <laughs> Yeah. 
You'll be all right. Let's go, boy. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Look out! Got stolen. Outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Uh, he's all right. Hey, get moving. Could you move out of the way? Go on. Yeah, good boy. Tables are just up ahead. Open for business, Valentine. Form an orderly line. All right. Morning, friend. Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well... With some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Come on, girl. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. 